Howdy, Wastelanders. Wanderer here. Welcome back to Fallout 4 Horizon, back in Sanctuary. And I want to check to see if my vendors on my courier trading system have refreshed. Because if they have, if one of them happens to have a pulse grenade, then we're going to be in really good luck. I don't think they have yet, though. It looks like... Um, at least on that guy, nothing's changed, so we'll try... There's a couple we can try here. Um, can try Cricket. No luck on Cricket. You hanging in there? We can try... Carla wouldn't have any, Lucas Miller wouldn't have any, Fekuf wouldn't have any, neither would Myrna. Cleo is the one we got one from before. I have a feeling she has not reset, though. No, she has a plasma grenade, but no. Got nice stuff here, but no, um... No pulse grenades, unfortunately. She does sell, sell uh, steel and lead, though, which is good. Okay. Well, nothing we can really do then, I guess. Um, doesn't look like anybody has reset their, their inventory yet, so... Proctor Tegan would be the other one might have one, but I don't think Tegan has any either, so... Nope. So we're still going to be one short in our pulse grenades, unfortunately, unless we got super lucky well, so. and we got one in production storage somehow. Nah, no such luck. Okay, let's get our stuff from production storage. Holy shit, that was a lot of stuff. That was a lot of stuff. That was like several hundred pounds worth of stuff. Now, some of that is from um, Wilson picking stuff up while we're out too. But yeah, holy crap. Many good things, many salt shakers. Cool. I'll grab the ammo out of here as well. Dump it all in. Holy crap, that was so much stuff. It's not even everything either. We got more here. We got, um, gotta go to our command mission menu and get stuff out of our, uh, command box or whatever when they bring stuff back. Mission container, yeah, that's what it is. Lots of good stuff here. Maybe we'll get one in here? Not no luck. Got good stuff, though. <clears throat> oh my gosh, voice cracking. Good stuff, though, if I can talk properly. Two canine dog training. That's kind of bad luck. Two dog training manuals. Okay, um, let's take, let me take a look here. I only have six max militia, huh? But none of them are assigned right now because I don't have any militia, um... Watch McCollum's. I don't have any militia. Would you shut up, June? Could you shut up for the love of God? There's nothing to apologize for. You worry about you, and everything will take care of itself. Get on those goddamn potatoes and shut up. Stop talking, June. Thanks for checking in on me. Of course. This isn't chatting hour. It's farming hour. Always. See everybody else? They're working. What are you doing? Nothing. Moping around, being sorry for yourself for months on end. Oh my god, get down there in that dirt and farm those goddamn potatoes. That's right. Oh, June. And stop interrupting me, you dumbass. All right, as I was saying, we need ourselves... We need to make some... Well, let's look at supply kits here. We might actually have enough surplus purified water to justify making a couple of supply kits. Maybe one or two. I'm going to say we'll make two of these. That's going to be it then. Then we need military kits. Well, I just made two of these. It should have given me six. It's only showing me three. Okay, it's just it's just bugged here. It just doesn't have, hasn't updated here yet. Okay, that's cool. But yeah, that's cool. So we got... So then, how many military kits do we have? Let me dump these in here real quick. Alright, command mission menu. Where does it show that at? Shows it here somewhere. 
Do do do. Uh, let's see here. Deploy settlers. Yes, we got four supply kits, six military kits, uh, thirty-three common tools. Okay. Okay, so let's deploy everything possible. It's gonna be like all of our military kits going immediately. Everybody else is going. Okay, maybe I should do because we're already producing supply kits. I think. Maybe I should craft one more set of uh, military kits. Because we produce supply kits normally every day anyway. Okay, um, I don't need to do anything here. I just need to dump them in here and then we'll be done. I have gone up to four tenants now, which is good. I'm going to dump my good weapons in here for now. So I don't scrap them uh, accidentally. Anything that we don't want to scrap that we can sell, we'll put in here. This is pretty nice. Um, well, these are not that nice, actually. It's just a star because it has that special mod on it, and for whatever reason, Horizon still considers that to be legendary, even though it's not that good. Um, these can mostly be scrapped, I think. These, those can be sold, um... The Assault Run Helmet looks pretty cool, actually. The dresses and tuxedos, those can be sold. They're worth a bit. Everything else, we're just going to scrap it, I think. Sell that, I guess. So yeah, we're going to scrap all this stuff. We're going to scrap all of these. Let me make sure we don't have extra stuff now. We're good. So that stuff can all be scrapped. Let's, let's take a look here. Yeah, okay, we're, we're going to scrap this stuff real quick, so let's do it. Um, yeah, all this stuff can be scrapped. Oh, the uh, Death Claw Gauntlet shit. I can't use it in Power Armor anyway, though. But um, I didn't... I scrapped it here. Can I get it for Reverse Engineering? Because I'm pretty sure I don't have that one yet. It's kind of rare. I'm pretty sure I didn't get that. I totally forgot I got that, like, a couple episodes ago. I wasn't going to use it anyway, most likely. Let me, just so I can have it. Help, Death Claw. Should do Gauntlet, because otherwise I'm going to get, like, every Death Claw. Yeah, so I want the weapon. Player, add item. O O O D eight five seven six. Did you get that right? O O D eight five seven six. Yeah. Okay. I just want to scan it and I'm gonna drop it. I want to look at it too and see how much damage it does, just out of curiosity. Oh, it's it's not even that good, guys. It's not even that good. But just to satisfy you all, because it was cheating technically. I will fling it into the pond, and it shall never be seen again. One, two... Whoa! Adios, Deathclaw Gauntlet. May you have a nice rest in the pond. Okay. How are we doing on food and stuff? We're, like, almost there. We're almost out of food, that is. Uh, yeah, let's do an animal stew. We should be full. No, we're not. Do I have parasites? Okay, thank God, no parasites. But we do need to make some stuff. We shall make some anthropods too. That works for me. We're kind of low on meds too. Bandages and stim packs. Yeah, I need to more, make some more bandages. I can make- I know I can make these, I just- they're not, like, really worth making. But only 0.95, huh? Why is that less now? Used to be one- Wait, what? Do I have, like, reduced healing? Is that why? It's because I'm- Yep, I'm hungry, so I have reduced healing. Are you satisfied now, Nora? You hungry, hungry hippo, you. 
Okay, so we get we get point we get a twenty percent more healing, I guess, when we use it in the morning. So obviously we're not going to heal right now. I'm going to want these eventually. I'm going to want to make combat impacts eventually. I'm going to want medic and uh, chemistry eventually. I, mean, I was really hoping I could get some pulse grenades. Like, I can't make them, right? They're, like, way far away. Yeah, science and explosives is way far away. There's no way I could make them. Oh, God, I want them so bad. I want my gauze rifle so bad, guys. All right, well, it is what it is. I gotta scrap, um, armor as well. Please don't screw me by jumping around game. Mix and life scraps. Uh, probably is worth selling those in the future. 20 caps is quite a bit. They won't actually sell for 20 caps. They'll sell for like 5 caps, but still, that's pretty good for desolation mode. And if you missed it in the last one, yes, I realize... Holy crap, that gives me a lot of stuff. Ballistic fiber, mixed ally scraps. Yeah, I guess just scrap it. It's reinforced, which is kind of nice. It's only like one level difference, though. You like, it doubles how much you get, though. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and take it off and I'll put it on mine. Uh, later build. Don't really care about that. All of mine are heavy now, so there's no point, really. Worrying about anything. Yeah, I am aware. Um, I do realize that the chick that's talking on my Pip Boy is from Subnautica, I think, which is really cool. I think that think that's amazing. By the way, thought that was really neat. Uh, let's check my chest piece here and go from snare to wow, that's a lot more. Yeah, reinforced for sure. Can't do weaves yet. I need insulated weave. I need crafted ballistic weave. Um, I wonder if my crafters are up to par yet to be able to do that. Because you can do it through here. If you go to... Um, ballistic fiber is here. Here it is. I actually, actually, guys, I think we've unlocked it. We have the Settler skill of craftsmanship. We can do this now. So we just need four ballistic fibers, which I don't see any reason to not go ahead and make these into ballistic fiber. I could, I could do this. I could make a ballistic weave for my chest piece. have a really nice combat armor chest piece um, or a BOS uniform chest piece I guess it would be maybe Brotherhood Fatigue is not sure I would need two crafted ballistic weaves to make this though holy crap it doesn't add that much need four crafted ballistic weaves to make this holy crap this requires six so to get the really good ones, you really have to have a lot of Ballistic Weave to make it any good. Alright then. Just looking at some of these. Oh, I can, you can actually make these. Interesting. You can actually add these on. Oh, I didn't know that. Hopefully this is this is part of Horizon and not something I've uh, 
I mean, it looks like it is because it requires... It requires Horizon materials, right? It requires um, Cobalt Chromium and, like, it requires rare materials, rare alloys and stuff. Tailoring and Science. I did I did not know you could do these. Um, what does Poisoners do? Ten Poison Resistance. Sprinters is... Okay. Um, how do you unlock more of these? If you know how you unlock these, because I was pretty sure I didn't see these before. If you know how you unlock these, let me know. Is it from research? Do you gain it over time? Is it, like, your tech level? Let me know. I'm very interested to see because that changes things. If you can get Chameleon in this game um, on your regular armor, that does change things. What what time is it? Am I tired? It's 8.50 p.m. So yeah, we gotta go to bed pretty soonish. That changes stuff significantly because I would forego power armor in that case. Definitely would do it, yeah. So let's go ahead and sell this stuff. I don't need most of this stuff, I think. Just gonna sell it. Yep, so those, that can be sold as well. Nice pipe pistol, but yeah, I'm gonna sell it. And I'm going to um, disassemble some of this stuff too. Kind of hurts to assemble 5.56, but yeah, I'll go ahead and do it. 7.62 or bust. Really good stuff in those mines. All right, I do kind of want some grenades. Uh, they're, you know, they're useful. And it's free, um... It's free skill-ups, right? So... Wish this said what it does. Explosive Molotov sounds pretty good, but... But yeah, this is specifically for skilling up, so I guess we'll go ahead and... do 10 of those. I mean, I can even make those just to sell off if I wanted to. I want to check, too. What can I do on my... Hold on. Let me sell these real quick. Then I'll get my regular weapons out. I want to see what I can do on them, because I have upgraded my ballistic skill and stuff quite a bit. So let's do courier trading. Carla has no money. Um, Cleo should have some. Yeah, Cleo's got lots of money. Okay. Right, so my um, light machine gun here. 140 for next ballistics level. We're not quite there yet. Trooper for the max one. What does Vented Barrel give me here? Twenty-five percent reduced recoil. So it has really good recoil then. Um, I can get a recoil compensating stock now, which is nice. Uh, what does that actually do? Exceptional recoil, thirty percent reduced recoil, plus forty percent sight accuracy. Stability bash and VAT's cost are all the same. So basically just better recoil. I use this thing enough that it's probably worth putting this on there. Yeah, let's go ahead. Quick eject drum mag. Um, the parts are pretty negligible. I don't really mind spending them. I'll go ahead and do it. We can indeed do a suppressor now. We have 90 stealth skill, which is pretty good. So I will go ahead and do a suppressor. That's going to help us out a lot, being stealthy with this, with this thing.
Yeah, difference between the 7.62 and the 50 cal um, is not that much, and it's like the 50 cal costs the same amount of stuff to make, but it gives you half as many. So I really feel like 7.62 is a sweet spot here in terms of the, like ammo efficiency on this thing. If it were automatic, this thing would do pretty damn good DPS, but it's fine as a semi-auto. I don't use too much ammo that way. It's good. Um, don't want to do a vanded barrel. What's this change again? Reduce recoil, right? Again, like, the parts required are not a big deal. I'll just go ahead and do it. So that's pretty much fully upgraded. I just need to get higher ballistic skill or trooper and ballistic skill to get it even better. Pretty good as it is, though. I might craft one of these pretty soon, make a nice one. That thing's pretty good. Laser rifle. We can't do anything more until we get to the very last level on here, and it's not even that much of an upgrade, so... This thing does great damage per shot, though. I've got no complaints. Now, this one, the difference here, this is, um... Crit chance, crit damage, hipfire accuracy. This one loses all that, but it makes you a lot more stealthy. It's like, it's like having a suppressor, basically, so people aren't going to know you're there. Is it worth it? I don't know. With the auto the um with the automatic it's pretty good damage. It's about the same DPS as my uh, other one. I don't know, man. What else did it does it have reduced ammo capacity as well with that? Let me see. It doesn't say it does. You only get ten shots right now, which is not a lot, but it's it's enough for me. Oh, this thing. We can do a better receiver now, so I think I'll go ahead and upgrade that, because why the hell wouldn't I? Um, it doesn't requ doesn't require too much to make it, so I'll go ahead and do that. Already got the best barrel. I can't do marksman stock, unfortunately, because I need sniper skill, which I might get pretty soon. Medium scope. I've been I've been shooting further and further with th with this thing, and I can do a long I can do a recon scope now. Um, recon scopes are pretty goddamn good, guys. You know... Let's do it. Long recon scope, let's go. Alright, just need to get a better, um... What about this thing? I want to wait until I get the poisoned uh, plus nine on this thing. Which need higher melee combat and chem skill for that. Those those materials are just so rare. I just I hate using them unless I can really make use of it. Okay, so this thing's in good shape. That's our that's our baby right there. Laser rifle is decent too. I'll convert all my stuff over, and my my um, other rifle is more stealthy now, which is great. Um, so. Open these things up while I've got them. It's not showing what I get in the top left here for some reason. It does that sometimes. It bugs out. These weigh a hell of a lot. I don't really need them, so... I need to sort stuff, guys. I gotta sort. Um, so... All the carbohydrate stuff can go in. I will make pork and beans into... I can sell my whiskey, too. I should sell that. I'm pretty sure I can sell most of these. But, like, I think a couple of them are used for certain things. There's my MRE that I got. That bugged me out last time in Crash. I'm not sure if it was a random crash or if it was, like, you know, based on me using that. But I want to be careful with that.
those went back in for some whatever reason. Okay, that's all the stuff I got from those containers and stuff. These can all be sold as well, I think. Maybe. I will put them in here for now. Maybe later I'll sell them. Okay, I can convert my fusion cells over, so let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go to um, field kit. Crafting fusion to heavy. All of them. Good deal. I've only got... Mm, look at that, that recon scope. I've only got a couple shots in this thing. What else do I have as far as... Not much at all. So I can either make 308 or 50 cal. Probably just make more 50 cal. That's fine. Still got a decent amount of 7.62 for this thing, so we'll keep using that. I really want to uh, wait and to make any more fusion cells for this thing, so I really want to, to save my... My energy cells to make um, electron charge cells. That's what we're going to be using as soon as I get my next freaking pulse, whatever. I don't think I, I don't like have any. I can't make handmade, can I? Let me check here. Um, I'm pretty sure I can't make handmade gauze yet. My part energy, yeah, just just laser muskets, all we can make. Okay. So that's a no go. Um, I've got food, right? I got one anthropod stew. I can make some more stuff if I need to. Let me go ahead and go ahead and scrap some ground meat here. As a couple people cry in the comments about me scrapping these. I'll leave some of the rad like meat. Like I'm not hurting for scraps right now, right? Like I can make anthropod stew, so it's not a huge deal. So I won't scrap, like, absolutely everything. Bloodbug and Bloatfly I need to make Skeetotonic, so I'll save those. I have a lot of meat. This is what I wanted. Cram, pork and beans, Salisbury steak. Okay, those are all done. Okay. All these can go in. I'm selling the wine. Bubblegum can't be put in there. Gumdrops can't. Uh, sweet roll can't, actually. Hold on. Sweet roll can go. All these can go in. You know, I'm just going to do it like this. I'll just do it over again. Screw it. There we go. Okay, it's, it's all in there. It's all in there. All this stuff can go too. I'm trying to get sorted here, guys. This stuff can all be sold. I don't need to have 30 freaking buff outs. Does it have weight? Yeah, it does. I don't need to have 30 buff outs on me. I'm not going to ever use that many for anything. Ever. Probably just going to sell those. I don't know what I'll do with them. can probably get these open, actually. Okay. So let's go over here. Um, rotten fruit, grisly meat, diseased meat... Wheat rolls, Insta Mash, Dandy Boy Apples, Blanco Mac and Cheese. That should be it. All this stuff can go into my compost bin. Now I'd like my water, one Nuka Quantum, my stew, my Buzz Bites, because why not? I'm gonna make like one or two more stew. I can't because I'm out of purified water, right? Okay, well, I'll wait for the next day. Do we have chlorine? I want to check that, too. Production storage is empty. No, production storage has stuff in it still. Okay. Take all that out. Dump all that off. 
Okay, we're good now. Um, right, so let's go to production, active production. Uh, why is this at zero? Add 99 to everything. Why does it keep going back to zero? Keep doing this, always, game. I don't know why you're going back to zero. All right, so let's, uh, service slot one is purified water. We don't have, we don't have any chlorine. Okay, it means we have to make chlorine. Now, I should have a decent amount of salt, I think. Because I have had my seawater things going. Right, so it should be going. I think, hopefully. It's a reasonable amount of salt, yeah, so I'll go ahead and do this. This is not quite as good as doing it through the workshop thing, but I want to make sure I have plenty. One more, and that's going to be all. Okay, now if I check this, if I go to active uh, production and go to purified water and see what it says, should say I have some chlorine. Yes, I've got eight chlorine. So each one of these will make one purified water per day. If I go back here, I should be getting four per day. So that should use all my chlorine up and I should get four purified water on the next production schedule or whatever. I should be getting that. Just remember that. It should, it should happen. I don't know. We'll see if it actually does or not. All right. Um... Should be getting energy cells per day as well produced from this. So let me check the schematic slot. One, what's it, what's it require? Okay, it requires zinc. That's right, it requires zinc, and I don't have zinc. Used to be you could just craft your energy cells, like, really easy, but I don't know how to get zinc. I haven't found... It's in one of the mineral things, or, or one of the, the chemical factors or something. I don't remember. It's, it's difficult to get. Let's check our command table here real quick. Check the mission camera. We already got that. Cool. One of our pieces of power armor was getting close to being broke, so we'll go ahead and fix that. I'm going to scrap my, let's see here, um, field scrapping. I'm going to scrap these, don't need them. Did it actually work? Guess it did. Okay, courier trading. So any excess stuff I can to Clio. I don't need advanced explosive charges anymore. I don't need uh, advanced auto dialers. I just need master ones. Um, Is it it? Guess that's it. All right. Okay. Let's sleep for the night then. Oh yeah. Perk points. I'm going to save before I do this. Because I really don't want to screw myself. Why couldn't I sell these? I can sell my vendors, I'm pretty sure. Okay, before I do that, I want to go and sell this stuff real quick. Oh yeah, I can't sell right now. It's too late at night, isn't it? Yeah, okay. We'll wait for the morning. Okay. Um, 
I'm going to go ahead and select Sniper for my skill. My first one, which means I need to get up to this in Perception. So I got a ways to point on Perception here. All right, let's let's see what that what this unlocks as far as sniper goes. Twenty damage to sniper weapon, just straight. So I get a just a straight up twenty percent damage. Bolt action rifles, muskets, gauze rifles, railway lever action crossbows. Okay, that's that alone, just twenty percent more damage is pretty damn good. Um, I think we're going to go for that. Yeah, let's go for it. That should be an immediate boost to my hunting rifle. And yes, it is. It's like 20% more damage immediately. So that's really good. That alone is going to make it worth it, guys. Now, it doesn't work well. If I put a scope on this thing, does it get more damage? I'm curious. I'm going to save again. Currently, this has 62 damage. If I put a scope on it... Let's say I put a... Um, recon scope on it. And get out of here. It appears not. It does look cool as shit, though, doesn't it? With the um, the recon scope on it. It looks really badass. So, no, it does not. So I'm not going to. I was just curious if it did or not. Um, Alright. I don't want that. I'm going to reload. I was just curious what happened. So I wanted to see if the scope determined... Um, what was a sniper weapon and what got the damage boost, or if something else did. Now, the other one we want to get is going to be Commando, probably. I'm still not sure, guys. I might respec later on, too. We'll see. I'm so undecided. Like, snipers served me really well so far, but, like, in the end game, I might need more firepower. I might need to go Commando. And I might just have such a big excess of ammo that I go Commando anyway, because it's fun. I don't know. We'll see. Weakness. Okay, we can take care of that easy. Let's get some buff out. Well, I'm glad we saved, because we just crashed. That bug, man, that bug has been in the game forever. Like, this happens in Fallout 76, too. And it never has been fixed, as far as I'm aware. Like, after a certain amount of time, if you're unlucky, guess what? You crash, because fuck you, basically. Like, that's what the game says. No real rhyme or reason. Let's try again. See if we get weakness again. Or if it's something worse that doesn't have an easy cure. But it's specifically with opening up your pit boy and using eight items, like you just crash the second you use it. Not sure what causes it. I guess if I had buff out four installed, I'd know, but. Did I get disease? What did I get? Weakness. Yeah, okay. Take 40% more damage? Hell no. Okay. We're not hungry or anything yet right now, so that's cool. Alright, so, um... We ought to be fairly good to go here. I can make some, uh... Random... Bug kebabs. Make eight of those. That should be good with our sanitized water to keep us going for a while. Right, so we got some ammo for this, but I need more ammo. I need more 50 cal, I think. Or maybe not. Hold on. I mean, the 50 cal was more than sufficient before, and we do 20% more damage now. So, like, if this thing's doing 
So I just improved the receiver on it too. If this thing's doing, um, yeah, so it's it's doing 50 cal levels of damage now with 308 ammo. So I'm gonna make 308 because 308 is way more efficient. It's uh, way cheaper to make. Right, like we get 10 of these for 84 powder and one of each versus um, two of each of these and like 108 powder. Yeah, I think it's better to make 308 rounds and we can just use these things up like candy. So that's like nine or something on that. Can you make grenade, um... Can you make baseball grenade 40 mils? You have to actually craft fragmentation grenades with that. Whenever I can do that, I might make those. Might be fun. Okay. Let's swap this over. Got a hundred rounds for this bad boy. We can zoom way in. Upgrade our um, machine gun as well. Nice short range weapon. All right, we're in good shape. Let's grab the armor and let's go doing some stuff. Um, need circuitry like most of all I think so what are my quests here you know this is for um, the museum there might be some stuff in the uh, vault tech vault I don't know this has me going out to uh, Fort Hagen for the main quest which I guess like or out that way anyway I'm gonna find Nick Valentine too. Um, General Atomics Factory would probably be pretty good for that as well. I have been waiting to report to people forever. Should go investigate the bunker as well. No, those I don't really care about. Uh, let's take a look here then. Get rid of my custom marker there. It's just got to get the bunker over here, and then we can go... I think I'll go to the bunker first, then turn in my quest to Reese. And do I have a... I got Quarter Masterly as well. Yeah, turn in my, my quest to Reese and Halen. And Dance all at the same time. That seems most efficient, and... Um, I can make that trip from probably faster to go from Outpost to Monja. You know there's the robot area over here? I think I'll fast travel to Monja. There's that robot area with all the crazy robots, right? And uh, that'll be a lot of good scrap too. Bunch of cars, bunch of random scrap in there. Maybe some circuitry. And if I don't go there, I'm going to forget about it. Me. Just the one? How'd you get all the way over here, man? That makes no sense, Raider. Seven freaking settlers. Okay. So, Zamonja has a lot of space out here. Let me check real quick. I want to make a resource station here if I haven't already. I don't think I have. Looks like no. Alright, let me uh, dump off the stuff for a resource station here. I want to see what this place has.
I want to do a mineral scan here. So production management. Um, okay, this place has some decent stuff. I mean, I guess I should probably put down some extractors, yeah? I mean, it has arthrocyte, basalt, granite, decent levels of chromite. I guess I should go ahead and do some stuff here. Do those require... Let me see. They don't require anybody, so I can just plop these down. Limits of two per settlement. Okay. Like, really, I should just have two of these at every settlement. Like, just... I shouldn't even think about it, right? Since you're limited to two per settlement, I should just put two of these down per settlement, period. And um, I'll be good. Where did I get all that circuitry from? I guess it was in my... I guess it was... Um, in my production storage or something. I don't know. Okay, I'll do two of these. You guys are very much in the way. I don't have any other power here, do I? Or water, for that matter. I was hoping to make these guys... Get these guys busy with these. Okay, and just some power here, and we should be good to go. Come on, there we go. Let's require five each, so we need a bit more than that. Uh, yeah, just one of these is fine. There's our production. Okay, cool. We have extractors now here as well. That's nice. We'll have to start refining stuff. Um, wasn't sure if I'd get rid of these concrete areas, but I think I will because I want this. I want to reclaim this space basically for um, putting down a bunch of like manufacturing type stuff. So I'm gonna get rid of all this stuff that I can, basically. I think it's not uh, not hard code in here. We're gonna get rid of. Come on, give me that. Give me that snap point. Let me scrap it. There we go. I have no idea what to do with these guys otherwise. Like, I, you, you know, I just I don't know what to do with them. See, so yeah, we're gonna get rid of this stuff. Come on, barrel. Did not get that barrel. Just saw a snap point for something there that I could use. have to hope none of this stuff affects the game poorly, but I don't think it will. I mean, this is all, like, this is all done by Zalanul that you're able to get this stuff, and I think that, um, like, he knows what he's doing. He wouldn't allow you to scrap this stuff unless it was safe to do so. And this one right here, yep. What I'm thinking is it all build like a big platform back there? Or we'll build like around those things maybe? I don't know. I guess build a big platform and then put those things down like on top of the platforms, right? I'm talking like huge guys. I'm talking like a platform stretching from here to the end of the thing over there. Like this entire area, I want to fill it. <clears throat> with a big platform. And then put nothing but um, extractors over here. Or factories. 
So like, let me check here. Uh, I want to see how many, how many like tech factories and other stuff I have open. How many I need for all those things. You can check all that in here. Let me check my production storage too. So there should be purified water here. Yes, we got four purified water. That is excellent. I'm going to go ahead and grab all this stuff and uh, dump it in. In fact, I could go ahead and just make some more uh, make some more stew right here. Put you two of those. Now we gotta be good for uh, for uh, food and water for quite a while. All right, so yeah, let me check this thing. Production and active production. So we got plenty of um, plenty of these things. What I need to look at here is wait, hold on, I'm in the wrong spot. I need to look at like um, right extractors. So like I have. Okay, so I need to put, like, two extractors down at every single settlement, no matter what, because you're limited to two, so, like, it doesn't matter what it produces, you should just go ahead and put them down. And if you find one that has really good oil production, you should put down oil production there as well. That makes sense to me, uh, as far as extractors go. So that's an easy one. Every single one of our settlements that we go to, we're going to put down two extractors, period. Um, or processing... Um, we're going to want... So we have nine service slots here. I have zero active arc furnaces. I need a lot more of those. So when we're getting to the end game, we need a whole bunch of war, of arc furnaces. Um, so... This, these are really easy to do. Um, you just need to have... All you need to do is have packaging material and then the ore itself, which you get from the extractors. So that's pretty easy. This will be automatic. So, next question, as far as the ore goes, um, there's no limit on tech factories. None of these have a limit. Okay. Mining and oil. Arc furnace. There's no limit on the number of these you can have per settlement either. So I could just have a settlement dedicated to doing like a bunch of these and like I could just make all these guys basically do a bunch of these so this, this is what I'm thinking guys I'm gonna put down a bunch of foundations and just stack a whole bunch of these on top of them and then we'll just have our set this will be like our uh our you can only have three of these per settlement too so like person that told me you need to like be careful no like you can only do three per settlement so like you just put three of them down per settlement like same like same thing for the oil right oil and um and extractors. There's the oil well. Where's the extractor at? Uh, I can't do because I already have them. Yeah, so it's two extractors and three refineries per settlement. You just plop them down. Like, you don't even think about it. If you have the spare materials, you just do... Um, two extractors and three um, oil wells per settlement, period. Because unless it, like, literally has, like, I'll check this one real quick. Like, if it has like, zero oil, then I won't do it. But, like, if it has any reasonable amount of oil at all, then I it's, like, worth doing, right? So let's go to, um... Yeah, I'm gonna have to pause the scan. Okay, so this is pretty low on crude oil, only 0.11, so like I won't do crude oil here. But if it has more than like 0.2, I'm gonna put one down. It's worthwhile. Alright, so. Let me get rid of these damn things. Freaking eyesores that they are. Here's what I'm thinking. We're going to put down a bunch of these things, and, uh, like, they need to be on, like, well, they don't need to be on flat surfaces, but they need to be... I want them on flat surfaces, so let's take a look at what we can make here as far as foundations go.
Natural Foundation. I kind of want to see what this does. Let me save real quick before I do this, and we'll see what this does. Main Street Terrain Foundation. Can do a road, a park, um... What does Terrain Foundation do? Uh... Eh... Now I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna reload. Not a huge fan of that. I could see uses for it, and I could see uses for the park and the other one too, like the road, like to make it more realistic looking. But like what I really want right here is honestly just a, a regular foundation. This is fine. Something's out there. Man. I'm busy. Mr. Raider Scum. Yes, my good karma's paying off. Did they respawn? They did, they respawned. That's pretty funny, actually. That wasn't like a random encounter, that was like this thing respawned, apparently. <laughs> it all respawned right next to me. That's pretty funny. I forgot the recon, um... Forgot the recon scope puts the dot above their head, that's really useful. Looks freaking badass on my hunting rifle, too. Okay, as I was... Let's get this done here. Interesting, you can snap them like half like that. They really fade into each other. You can't really tell it like that they're different squares either. They're kind of like that. Oh boy, we're gonna be um how much space do I need? Cause I don't really want to do multiple stacks. If and you know what I mean. Okay, this should be good. Alright, so let's let's go back then and we wanna do production. Yeah, and I want some arc furnaces. Just play as many as we can. Like, a couple of these and a couple of the other ones. Okay, there's that. I already have, um... I already have oil production, so... Makes sense to make a few of these. One, two, 
one more. Should give me three of each. And then I gotta put down some stairs. Our little feet can get up there. are off center. There you go, you got it. I wonder if they can all path around or not. They're probably gonna get stuck. All right. And I'll do some railings over here for realism. Y'all is just getting stuck, aren't you? Well, it is what it is. I shouldn't have packed them so tight, I guess. Wow, that's like gonna cap us out almost. I guess building this thing was a uh, problem, building this gigantic, enormous, stupid shack thing here. All right, well, that's cool. I can always expand this out further and add more stuff, too. I wonder where our happiness is going down. I mean, these give you happiness, right? So that should, uh, that should boost it. Maybe. These are all assigned, right? Yeah, they're all assigned. They're all... This one's kind of stuck. She'll get there eventually. Okay, so that's cool. Um, we gotta go to the recon with the bunker. To the bunker we go. Do I have any workshop rations? Yeah, I'll have those. Still parched, but we are well fed, so I should probably just have some water, eh? Okay, off we go. Real happy with this sniper rifle. Happy I finally picked a specialization. I'm sure you guys are too. It 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 was like leaving damage on the, the table that I could have had, I guess, so that's bad, you know, like I could have swapped 308 ammo sooner and I would have had a lot more materials then. That's bad on my part. Should not have done that. I'm gonna check down here on the lake real quick. Maybe I'll do a big loop around the lake and then go up afterward. Just do a big old loop over here and then go around up to there. Dead cow lane over there. I see bears over here pretty often whenever I go through. Meyer lurks here as well. Try to snipe those before we go back in there. I missed his face. That'll do.
Lake Corner Pallet. Probably butchered that name, but oh well. Nice. I've never tried to pronounce it before, so. What was that, um, what was that show on Nickelodeon? I think it was on Nickelodeon. Lake. I don't remember. Lake, uh, is, is, is about a, it was about, like, teenagers at a freaking summer camp. It was a comedy for kids. But I can still remember the theme song. Only 90s kids will know. Come on, Wilson. You're sleeping on the job here, leaving all this junk laying around. I love it. Now I just need to get some... Uh, oh, I should have made some recon thingamajigs on my helmet. I think my current helmet cannot use those, actually. I need to make the the stealth one or whatever. Or just find a better one, period. What have we here? Scavenger's Journal. Okay, uh, just, this is about the iBot thing. Cool, map updated. So yeah, you can use this thing to go find stuff. Um, let's go, scan for ammo. What do I want? Give me a fusion core, dude. I wonder if this will work. I don't want to run after this guy. Is it marked on my map? I don't know. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna worry about it, guys. Ooh, a bunch of eggs. Means a bunch of Mirelurks. aren't um, hatching prematurely. Well, these might. Come now. It's like my range of my weapons almost not long enough to actually hit these guys. It's really annoying. If you know how iBots work, let me know in the comments. I'm pretty sure I have to follow the guy. And I'm just too lazy to do it. I am detecting predators tracking your position. That's definitely from Subnautica, right?
are they are they uh, rad scorpions? Cause like they're just gonna be on the ground. It's gonna be annoying as hell. If it's like a death claw. I would have seen it by now. I'm pretty sure. So well, that was BS. I thought I was well clear of that water. Okay, uh, do I want to go? I want to go to the, the recon bunker real quick. I want to get that done. Then we can go down and explore the lake afterwards. Come at me, you damn rad scorpions. It's probably what you are. It's probably rad scorpions. Jump out of the ground already. Okay, I finally can do it. So you can... You have to disarm him twice. Oh, what the hell? What you doing out here? Was that my predator? It might have been them. You know, I haven't seen any behemoths or anything yet. Anything really big. That'd be kind of fun. By fun, I mean terrifying. We're almost maxed out on salvaging. Holy crap. You could probably get, like, salvaging is one of those things you'd probably get to max pretty easily without investing too many points into it if you really wanted to. It'd just take a long time, but it would happen pretty naturally for almost anybody, as long as you're salvaging stuff in the field. Though, like, I guess it's one of those things where, like, the higher your, your points are, the easier it is to get it higher, like, because... You know, salvaging cars and stuff is a big deal. Yeah, there are mines around here. And they're pretty sneakily hidden. Almost couldn't get that one. Hey, we got some mutated ferns. We can take that back to Solomon, finally. Didn't even have to go over to, uh, what's, this, what's it called? That one's upside down. Not giving you any water, buddy. Purified water is too precious to give away. Sanitized, I would do, maybe. I know I said we're going to the bunker, but I just heard fighting, so I wanted to go see what it is. Yeah, looks like more rust devils. Get a bead on all these guys. Come on, give me give, give the beads. There we go.
Got him. Sentry bot part. I think I already have one of those, though. Up through here is where I think I saw that behemoth the one time, just wandering around. It was an epic as hell fight. It was when I was still like a noob playing Fallout 4. It was, oh my god, it was so fun. Just wandering around out here as you do in a Fallout game. Came across a random behemoth. Walking through that stream. Lockpicking just breached 100. That's pretty cool. Okay, so there's the eyebot. I didn't get the guy. They were huddled down here by the uh, by the trees. I see some sparks. There's a guy in there. There we go. I know I got a couple of them right down here. This is a settler. Mercenary. They must have killed him. Her, I should say. If you're ever hurting for hub flowers, there's a lot of good hub there's a lot of good stuff out here. Like there's There's not much that brings you out here, but like if you need hub flowers and stuff, like holy crap, there's so many. Out here in the kinda high level um, wilderness area. There's a young one. Will we find a mama around here anywhere? Okay, it looks like no. Alright, let's let's make our way back towards the um we're pretty far up here. Let's make our way towards back towards the bunker. I feel like this would be an ideal place to like tuck something interesting into back here, you know what I mean? Like a little bunker or something. But no, you just can't go that way. Makes me sad every time. Up here, there ought to be a rad scorpion, if I remember correctly. There should be one that spawns up here. It's on top of one of these hills back in this area. Yeah, over here by the, where the trucks are at. There's a camp here, and rad scorpions pop out of the ground. Yep. Oh god, that's a big one too. Death Skull Rad Scorpions, no less. And they can get up here. Jesus Christ, they kinda hurt. Okay. Oh no, don't fall.
Can you get down here? Let's do this. The fuck are you? Oh shit! Uh, who's who's here? I gotta use a, I gotta use a combat stim pack. There's like nothing for it. You know what I should do? I should put down mines. That'd be the smart thing to do. Are you okay? You're friendly. Why are you over here, settler? Come on over. <laughs> he just wrecked that settler. Come on over here, buddy. Come right on over. Okay, that was not what I intended to happen. Did you really dodge that? Oh my god, I bugged him out. Holy shit. That was a tad bit rough. Gotta make some more bandages when I get a chance. He just dodged like every mine I threw down to. He's like, nah, nah I don't think so. Okay, let me go over here real quick and finish this freaking business with the dude. Um, okay, it's fine. What's my charisma at? I'm at six. I'm pretty sure there's nothing I can do here to boost my charisma. Right? Like, nothing that I can do. Int and perception, yes, but um, yeah, not great. Mentats doesn't do it. Comex doesn't do it. Day tripper, nope, just luck. Okay. Freeze. One more step and I'll... I'll blow your damn head off! Who are you? Who sent you? How did you get in here? Easy, Paladin. I'm with the Brotherhood. The Brotherhood? No, no, it can't be. They're... They aren't here. They're... They're, they're too far away. They... They... They left me all... all alone. What do you want? How did you find me? Your paladin, Brandis? I ask you a question. Why are you here? Why are you here? I followed the distress beacons left by your team. Their holotapes led me here. The others? What, uh, what happened to them? They're dead, paladin. I recovered their tags. You, you, you did? Thank you. This, this really means a lot to me. I tried to go back for them, you know. There was nothing I could do, not alone, but... But I'd hoped you've been through a lot to find me. I should... I should give you something. I've collected a lot over the years. Technology, odds and ends. If you see anything you want, take it, take it. The Brotherhood needs you, Paladin. It's time you reported in. I... I, I can't. It's it's been too long. I I wouldn't be of any use. No one knows the Commonwealth better than you. We need your help. No, there's no going back. Not for me. Not anymore. Okay, fine. Is that all? I live alone. Avoid other people. 
Everyone. Everything. What do you want? I could let you sleep here, I suppose. That's all right. Or, uh, or try the food. I don't have much, but if you're hungry. The only other thing I have is my gun, and... No, no, I still need it. I, I can't let you have it. All right. Farewell, Brandis. Goodbye. And, uh, and thanks. Well, at the very least, we should get a free fusion core, I hope. And a free stealth boy. Ah, uh, it's malfunctioning, of course. I'm just going to save in case I, like, I'm just going to loot everything. I don't want to sit here and check to see if anything here is stealing. Brotherhood of Steel Recon Team 429 just, uh, Alpha. Just take what you need Final involved. report. Our mission has failed. Six hours after insertion, my company was ambushed. We lost five nights and exhausted our power armor reserves. We scuttled the armor to prevent looting, then retreated under fire, abandoning our supplies. I was separated from the two remaining members of Oops. my team within a week. Both are missing. Status unknown. I'd hope to rendezvous with them at our holdout bunker and seek a means of escape from the Commonwealth. But no one has come. No one has come. Well, Rip Settler. These were already dead. Alright guys, well, that's done at least, finally. So next episode we can I'll look around up here a little bit more. Uh, we'll explore this more thoroughly in a in the future. Like right now I have objectives I want to do. You know, like exploring down here a bit. So for now I'm going to leave this area pretty much. But um, yeah, we'll look around a bit more next episode and then head to our next objective. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.